Hey, welcome to the Sword and Laser Mailbag. Look who's here. Hey! Veronica came all the way here to admonish me for not uploading these to the Sword and Laser channel. So guess what? From now on, these will be uploaded to the Sword and Laser channel. And maybe I'll do some. Ooh, that'd be good. Yeah. Do you get some mail? No, but I buy a lot of books. Yeah, we could do that. Okay. Uh, so what we do is we go to the Sword and Laser mailbox, we get things, and we open them. This one, wait. This one is to you. Oh, good. It's to Veronica Belmont. Wait, so and do you mean that you're committing mail fraud every time you open up a package? No, because it's Sword and Laser it? LLC, and we are members We're is owners. the legal term. We're co-owners. Members of the Sword and Laser Limited Liability Company. And what do we got here in this package? Ooh, it's a big one. It's a big boy. Oh, it's an arc. It's a Mistborn novel. <gasps> Ooh, it's a Brandon Sanderson novel, you guys. Holy mojoey. Are we supposed to talk about this? Yeah. To that it? one's not coming out till January 2016. I don't think we're allowed to read it aloud, <laughs> but you can say what it's about. That's definitely illegal. Okay. Yes, it is. Um, with the alloy of law and shadows of self, Sanderson surprised readers with a New York Times bestselling spinoff of his Mistborn books. Surprise. Set 300 years after the conclusion of the original trilogy in a period corresponding to late 19th century America. And just as the alloy of law and shadows of self, the new novel can be read as a standalone. Boom. Nice. I know a lot of you want that. Boom. Now this next one comes, attention Tom Merritt. I most never, uh, most often there's nothing addressed to me. So this is this is unusual. Are you saying that most things are addressed to me? Yes, they almost all are addressed to you. It's really I hope I didn't ruin it. It's really Please heavily packaged. Okay. Here we go. It's a book. The Slow <gasps> Regard of Silent Things by Patrick Rothfuss. How long this has is, that been in our mailbox? I don't know. J just this week. It just came out. Because I already Yeah, this I've already read this. Own that. <laughs> I've read this as an ebook. Okay. Oh, it's the paperback. Oh, this is the paperback. It's the paperback. Right. So this is the real version of it now. Yes. And when does that come out? Um. Do, 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 See, do. this is what I always have on sale November 17th. Oh, there you go. So it's been out, but you can now get it, and you should, because it's, not it's November really 17th good. It's November 17th yet. It's only November oh, 12th. Oh, in six days, you should get it, <laughs> because it's really good. Uh, no, you read, you read this, right? I it's haven't all about read it Ari. yet. I know it's about Ori. I, I haven't had a chance Ari. to read. So. Uh, and it's so, so good. Deep below the university, there is a dark place. Few people know of it. A broken web of ancient passageways and abandoned rooms. A young woman lives there, tucked among the sprawling tunnels of the under thing, snug in the heart of this forgotten place. I think we should give this one away somehow. Sure. I shouldn't keep it you for myself. No. Wait, that would you... be unethical you read it already i did so but you should give it away real now anyway we'll figure that out we'll figure that out yeah right. if you have suggestions about how we should give it away leave us a comment on this video oh uh sorry this next one <laughs> has a return address on it uh and has lovely uh oh, the mail the art. post office covered some of the art yeah but thank you for that um i don't know what this is it i don't think this is from a book company though it's from Portland? It's from, well, yeah. Oh, it is a book, though. Ah, and things. things! Things that are falling! What does the note say? Veronica and Tom and intern who answers the mail. Ha ha! We should be so lucky. It's a green thing. Oh, it's gonna be more. It's this little spy glass. Having a terrible time. Uh, I know you don't review books for the site, but I wanted to gift you a copy of my book since you're one of my favorite podcasts. Just having you see it, hold it, sniff it <laughs> is honor enough. Read it if you're in the mood for some fun historical urban fantasy or pass it along to someone who may enjoy. This is as close as I could get to fan mail. So thanks for making science fiction and fantasy so fun and dare I say cool from Dave. Ooh, this book feels really nice. Like the feel the cover. Oh, yeah. It's got like a really nice tactile like feel to it. I don't know how to explain it. The 16 Burdens. Okay. It's the golden age in Hollywood, and everyone has a talent. Everyone but Gray Studebacher. The closest a teenage ruffian ever gets to fame and fortune are the movie star maps he peddles on the street for his lousy orphanage. Eh, this happens. But during a rash of celebrity kidnappings in, in, the, in late 1939, Gray discovers the stars on his map are hiding talents, supernatural talents, for which they are being abducted. 
When Gray tries to solve the crimes, he gets caught up in a battle that stretches back to the beginnings of humanity. Wow. Thank you, Dave. Very cool. And here's the other part. I think it's... Are there spy glasses? Little spy glasses. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. And it kind of broke, but it's very cute. Thank you. Thank Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. And I hope I didn't expose you. We'll we'll fix it in post. (laughs) We'll figure something out. Uh, So, yes, go to swordandlaser.com for more great book recommendations and our lovely podcast. It's both of us that do that. Bye. Bye.